Hi everybody, it's Jeanette. All right, we're talking popcorn. I did this review many years ago and someone said, hey, can you do some a new popcorn review? I said, for sure. And the good news is things have really improved when it comes to popcorn. Why do I say that? They've already, for the most part, they removed the partially hydrogenated oils. That's one of the things that I want you to look for when you are reading nutritional labels. That is poor quality oil that contains trans fat, hydrogenated and partially hydrogenated oils. They remove TBHQ, very popular as a preservative for food. We don't want to see that. TBHQ. Now, uh, popcorn is not one of those snacks that I highly recommend to eat every day. Uh, it does have some fiber, but we're putting it in the microwave. I'm not really certain the quality uh, of these bags where they're being microwaved. There was a lot of issues with that in, in the past. And I just don't think it's going to fill you long term. The nutritional value, there are better snacks out there. But use it as a treat. I hate spending money on popcorn in the movie theater. Does anybody else? It, it hurts to pay for popcorn. So I've been known to take a really big bag with my popcorn inside and Alfredo Lopez hates it and he will still buy his own big $10 popcorn. I don't care. I eat my healthy version of popcorn and I don't spend $10. Now, this really surprised me, this one. Orville uh, Rock, Rec um, Redenbachers. Now, why? What I found. So here it says no artificial preservatives, flavors, or dye. But always be aware when they say fat free. They love putting that in the front of the labels because it attracts a lot of people. Fat free, oh my God, it must be healthy. Let me get it. So what do you want to see in a label? You want to see whole grain, the word whole grain. This has it. They, for the most part, popcorn doesn't use great oil. They're using um, sunflower oil, they're using palm oil. This one uses palm oil. Salt, and guess what they added? Sucralose. Do you guys know what sucralose is? Splenda. When you think of popcorn, do you think Splenda and artificial sweeteners? No, of course not. Sugar and popcorn? That's what they added. So for sure, this is something that you, a product that you want to avoid. Ev they have a bunch of different flavors. When they add flavoring to the popcorn, that's where you have to be extra careful. This is where they sneak in the artificial stuff. So be careful. Just because one of their products is bad, doesn't mean that they don't have a good one. They do have a natural one. So when you see simply natural, chances are they remove that, but you still can't trust the front of the label. You must go and look at every ingredient. One of my favorites, you guys, Boom Chicka Pop. I love this brand. The flavor ones are also, from the, for the most part that I remember, pretty good. Now, popcorn, sunflower oil, sea salt. You know, sunflower oil, not great quality, but it's not gonna kill you. So, sunflower oil, great. And now, I found them that they have, this is brand new, or at least I, this is when I noticed it. Um, they have little microwavable bags. So once again, same good quality, whole grain popcorn, they use palm oil and sea salt. So if you haven't, now you can get warm boom chicka pop. That got me excited. I really like the Nomans brand as well. It's with sea salt. Try to be careful once again with the flavoring. And once you start adding butter and all that, it really uh, start increasing the fat content and the, the calories. So just sea salt is delicious. And Newman's oil is using whole grain, sea salt, palm oil, and vitamin E. Vitamin E is a preservative that you want to see instead of TBHQ. Be careful with cereals. Got, got off track, but that's one of the things I want you to watch out for cereals, the TBHQ. You want to see vitamin E. And lastly, I like Quinn. Quinn is a great brand. If you want to have a little butter, this is real butter. Once again, what's real butter? But you come in here and they're going to tell you non-GMO popcorn kernels, uh, sunflower oil, grass-fed clarified butter with sea salt. So here are some of the recommendations. So boom, chicka pop. And I mean, like I say, the popcorn aisle has really increased. There's so many. Um, Quinn, if you want to get some butter. Newman's own. I really like that one too. And please, please, please avoid this one because it has sucralose. I hope that you found this uh, helpful. 
send me messages and for a very long time i mean i've been doing reviews for years i kind of stopped because i felt like i had reviewed everything uh but things have changed if there's something that you want me to review please message me uh send me a picture and i will be happy uh to do this and do videos for you my summer wellness uh, program is happening i would love to help you with your health and fitness needs you guys, these programs that I do are designed to meet your needs, whether you want to do fitness, nutrition, both. If you need accountability, if you need a coach, I am here. My group kicks off on the 10th as prep week and we are going full uh, commitment on the 17th. So I hope to have uh, you guys in there.